Hello scholars! I'm here to help you with your first grade skills lessons. Today we're on Skills Unit 2, Lesson 4. My name is Miss James. Let's get started. Our objectives today are to identify nouns and oral phrases, demonstrate the understanding of the A blank E vowel pattern, and answer oral and written questions about a story. Let's start with some common nouns. We're going to find the common noun in the phrase and decide is it a person, a place, or a thing. Cold rain. Is cold or rain the noun? Rain is the noun. Now is rain a person, a place, or a thing? Rain is a thing. Long skirt. Is long or skirt the noun? Skirt is the noun. Is skirt a person, a place, or a thing? A skirt is a thing. Small school. Which word is the noun? Small or school? School is the noun. Is a school a person, a place, or a thing? A school is definitely a place. What about dog barks? Which one is the noun? Dog or barks? Dog is the noun. Is dog a person, a place, or a thing? A dog is a thing. Window breaks. Is a window a noun or breaks? Window's a noun. Is a window a person, place, or thing? A window is a thing. White shirt. Which word is the noun? White or shirt? Shirt is the noun. Is a shirt a person, a place, or a thing? A shirt is a thing. Two more. Phone rings. Which word is the noun? Phone or ring? It's phone. Is a phone a person, place, or thing? A phone is a thing. Last one. Kids swim. Which word is the noun? Kids or swim? Kids is the noun. Is kids a person, place, or thing? Kids are people. So we would say it's a person noun. A noun that names a person. Great job. Give yourselves a pat on the back. We're becoming professionals at this. Next, we're going to look at some of those words that have the magic E. The magic E changes the sound, the vowel sound, to A. So here it says can, k, an, but here it says k, ain, and the E is silent. It's magic. It's quiet, but it makes the A say its name. Let's try it again. Can. Cane. When I say alakazam, I want you to say the word with the A sound instead of A. Ah. Ready? Can. Alakazam. Cane. Plan. Alakazam. Plane. That magic E changes the whole word. Mad. Alakazam. Made. Last one. Cap. Alakazam. Cape. Very good. You're really getting the hang of it. 
let's look at a new story from Gran. I really hope we get to find out what pet she gets today. I've been waiting. Let's see what our next story is. We read about Wong. Today, we're going to read about where is Wong, and we'll find out what pet she got on her trip. Page 18. First, let's check out some words we might run across while we're reading. Repeat after me. Sweet. Eek. Crate. Takes. Snake. Scared. Safe. And some tricky words. There. Here. Who? From? Are? One? We? And we have one vocabulary word for today. This word is crate. A crate is a large container, usually made of wood, that you might use to send something. Have you ever gotten a crate in the mail with something in it? Let's see the, where we find a crate in today's story. Wong. Let's listen to the story to find out what kind of pet Gran gets from Hong Kong. Now, I made a mistake. I said we were reading Where is Wong, but we're on the story Wong, so we need page 14, not 18. Let's head over. Here we have Wong. Read along with me to find out about Gran's new pet. Jen yells, Gran, there is a man here with a big crate. Gran says, it must be Wong. Who? Jen asks Jen. The pet I got in Hong Kong, says Gran. Is Wong from Hong Kong? asks Jen. Yep, says Gran. But what is this Wong? asked Josh. Are you ready to find out? Let's see what Wong is. Gran takes the lid off the crate and lifts up a long black snake. Sweet, says Josh. Wong is a snake. Eek, Jen yells. I am scared of snakes. Gran says, Wong is a safe snake. There are snakes that can kill us, but Wong is not one of them. This is a snake we can pet. So what was this pet that Gran was waiting for? It was a snake. Did you guess it? I had a little idea when she said it was long with fangs. Let's go back into the story. On the first page, it tells us that there is a big crate. What else could we call this crate? To me, it kind of looks like a box. We could say box instead of crate. Here, when Jen asks if it is from Wong, Hong Kong, Gran says, yep, and there's quotation marks around it. Remember, when we have quotation marks, that means it's exactly what someone said. So Gran had said, yep, just like that, because there's quotation marks around it. Who can tell me a noun on this page that is not a proper noun? I 
I see the word man. Man is not a proper noun. It is not the name of anyone. It is a common noun that names a person. Next, let's find some proper nouns, some names. I see Jen, Gran, and Josh. Those are the names of our characters, so they are proper nouns. Good remembering. Let's go to the next page and see if there's anything we didn't notice on there. Here we see Josh says, Wong is a snake. And before that, he says, sweet. What do you think he feels about this snake? Because he said sweet, it sounds like he's happy that it was a snake. What about Jen? Jen says, I am scared of snakes. How does she feel about Wong? It seems like she might not like it because she says eek when she sees the snake. I see some words that have that new letter team of ours. If we look up here, we have, it's nice and bold so we can see it, takes. Do you hear that A sound in takes and crate? Snake. We even have some double E's that say sweet and eek. Remember, we said they would be bold so we could find them for a couple of lessons to help us learn. Let's look at some questions about this story. What kind of pet did Gran get in Hong Kong? We finally found out she got a. Snake. How does Wong arrive from Hong Kong? How does Wong get there? Did Grand carry him in her suitcase? No. He came in a big crate on a truck. What does Wong look like? What do you remember? Remember, she told us he was long, and what color is Wong? Wong is black. What do Josh and Jen think of Wong? What about Josh? Does he like Wong? Is he excited, or is he not very excited and doesn't like Wong? Josh was excited. He's the one who said sweet when he saw a snake. What about Jen? Jen was not as excited. She said she was afraid of snakes. What about Gran? How do you think Gran feels about Wong? I think Gran likes Wong. She says he's a safe snake. Wong is one that you can have as a pet. The last thing we've got for today is our workbook page 4.1. There's a Google form for you to fill out for this page. Fill in all of your answers and submit it to your teacher. That's all we've got for today. Great work, and I'll see you next time.